So with it guys, I'm um, just going to bring this quick little video. Um, I have a Moto E right here. Uh, last time I checked, these phones are $29.99. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, this is an older phone. Keep funny, what are you doing with it? Well, there are a lot of custom run support right now going on for the Moto E. So I figured, hey, I got one. I took it out the box. Put it on here, see what um, I can do with it. So, I'm going to demonstrate with y'all today how to flash Marshmallow 6.0 for the Moto E 2015 for Boost Mobile. Alright, guys. First, what you're going to do is all the links will be in the description for what you need. But basically, these are the steps. You need Torp recovery, which would be the top one, you're going to need that stock partition. Now, the stock partition updater really just depends on what kind of Android version you want to run. If you want to run the 5.1.1, because remember, um, the Moto E 2015 only got 5.1, not 5.1.1. So if you want to stay on Lollipop and Flash CM 12.1, etc., then you're going to want to go ahead and select the 5.1.1 stock partitions and then the Cerna 5.1.1 Lollipop version 1 zip. And that's for Sprint, Sprint MVNO, MVNOs, and Sprint subs. All that's basically saying is Boost Mobile, Virgin Mobile, uh, US Seller, anything that's 1526, and that's what the Boost Mobile model number is. 1526, or I think that's, what is that, 1529. Okay, but before you do all that, you have to unlock the bootloader. So to unlock the bootloader, you're gonna have to have Fast Boot, ADB, all that installed on the phone. You're going to go to this website, Motorola's website, and you're going to download everything you need is right here. Once you get everything set up, you get your fast boot uh, working, everything, then you're going to type in fast boot OEM, get unlocked data. You're going to put all the information in there, click on that, and then you're going to agree to that terms. And right down here, it will say a request unlock key button. If your device is unlockable, you click that. It emails you a unlock code. And that unlock code, you go in there, you're gonna type in, I think it's uh, fast boot, OEM, unlock. So the data is gonna be whatever kind of unlock key code, whatever kind of digit code you get. Now this will walk you through. On the Motorola website, it will walk you through. But you have to unlock the bootloader to be able to, to do this. So once I do that on this, unlock the bootloader, get everything set up for flashing um, six dollar. Okay. Once you get all your drivers installed and the phone and the computer are talking to each other, they recognize each other. Right here, you're gonna pull up CMD. This is your command prompt. And this is what you're gonna pull up, and you're gonna have it linked up to that folder. Right now, I have mine just as fast I mean, that's just how I do it. You can name it whatever kind of folder you wanna name it. But go to the directory of that folder, and you're going to type in ADB devices. So let me do that right now. And I'll I'll uh, show you to the phone. Now, once you type in ADB devices, you hit enter, you should get this screen. You're going to click on always allow from this computer and OK. This is basically allowing USB debugging to talk to the phone. So when you enter AD, ADB devices, that should pop up a little white bar menu like it just did. You're going to click on, you're going to check on that, click on that checkbox, check it, and push OK. So now when I did it, it said it was offline for the first time. So we're going to do it again, and then it should say ADB. So it's saying offline. Let me get the 
So the focus so it's saying offline, it's gonna say all those numbers and it's going to say uh, devices. And just to let y'all know, that's exactly what it did. Uh, first time you do it, it may go ahead and say devices. Uh, it just depends. I'm running Windows 10, so Windows 10 has been kind of iffy on my fast boot commands and ADB devices with my Android phones that I root. Really and so I'm not surprised it did that. But anyway, it should say that. And once it says that, the computer in ADB recognize the phone and the phone recognizes the computer and they're talking to each other and that lets you know that the phone and the computer are synced up to one another. So now once you in you have this set up like this and you have that device here after whatever your model number is and device you're ready to flash and unlike the bootloader and flash that and that uh, six dollar unlock. Okay so this is what you're gonna do. You're going to type in fastboot oem get unlocked underscore unlock underscore data. It has to look exactly like this and right here the website will show you how to do that. Okay. Now we're going to boot the phone to fastboot first. Okay. But I'm showing you this is what you type how to get uh, the unlock data. And just follow the website and it'll tell you step by step how to do it. So once you get here how to boot your phone into recovery, you're going to put ADB reboot bootloader and that will take it straight to your, to, to your bootloader. And this is your bootloader guys. You can have the Android guy laying on his face. Get that to focus. And the Android guy laying on his face. And what you need to look at and worry about it's just at the bottom. See how it says device is locked and status code is zero. The software status is official because you're running an official stock ROM. And your transfer mode is USB connected. Once you get into the screen and everything is working like that, you need to test fastboot and to see if fastboot recognizes the computer. Okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back up to our ADB, or I mean our command prompt, excuse me, and we're gonna type in fastboot devices. And with that, it should pull up the same thing as it did for ADB devices, but now it should pull up a totally different set of numbers and devices. And once we do that, guys, we have full confirmation that our computer sees our phone and our phone sees our computer they're working together they're hollering at each other they got the numbers everything's going well they're about to get it on so once you see that you're good to go ahead and type in that fast boot oem get underscore unlock underscore data to get your bootloader code and the next step after that